Hey everyone, this is a question from exercise 12.1, chapter is ratio and proportion of class 6. The question is, fill in the following blanks. So here we have given a ratio or uh, the fractions we can say. And we have to find out the blanks here and they are also asking are these equivalent ratios. They, uh, they have given fractions but they are asking are the equivalent ratios. And we have learned that fractions can be written in form of ratios and ratios can be again written back into fractional form. So first we're going to find out the blanks here and then later we'll see if they are equivalent ratio or not. So here the first number, I'm going to take this two first. So we have 15 by 18 and here we have 6 in the denominator and the numerator is blank. Now if you compare this, if you see we have 18 and the second one we got 6 means the number has been reduced. So here there are two ways of doing it. One is multiplying and one is dividing. Since we're talking about equivalent here, equivalent ratio of fraction. So there are two ways of doing it. One is by multiplication and one is by division. If you multiply 18 with any number, you will not get 6 because 6 is smaller than 18, which means we are dividing here. When you divide, the number will become more small, right? So the 6 we got means we're doing some division here. And when, when you're dividing with certain number, you should divide in both numerator and denominator with same number. Now think about a number. When you divide that with 18, you get 6. What is that number? So you are dividing 18 by some number to get answer 6. What is that number? Now if you check the tables here, that uh, it the answer will become 3 because 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. If in case you're not fi uh, unable to find out the answer, you do one thing. You divide these two numbers. 18 divided by 6, you do it. 6 ones are 6, 3 are 18. So we'll get 3 here. This is another way of doing it. In case you're unable to find out this answer here, this n with what number you're dividing it, you divide these two numbers, you'll get the answer. So here I'm dividing 18 with, uh, by 6, then I'm getting answer 6, right? So, so I'm dividing 18 by 3, then I'm getting the answer 6, which means I have to divide both numerator and denominator by 3 here. So divide this, you will get here, uh, 18 divided by 3 is 6, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So in the numerator, I'll get 5 here, which means the answer in the first blank is 5. This is first part. Now, let's solve the second one. In second one, I'm going to take second two, this two one, this the second and third fraction. So I have 5 by 6. And here I have a 10 by blank. This is empty. Now see from 5 I got 10, which means I'm multiplying because the number is more. 10 is greater than 5, right? Which means I'm multiplying. So with 5, what you should multiply to get 10? It's 2. 5 2s are 10, right? So same 2 you have to multiply in the denominator also. So already we have 10 in the numerator. 6 2s are is 12, which means in the second blank I'll get 12. Okay, this is second one. Now let's solve the third one. In third one, I'm going to take last two. This two I'm going to take. So I have 10 by 12 is equal to, I have a blank in the numerator and then 30. Now how to do this? From 12 to 30, how I should get? There's no number which can divide 12, right? Then how to solve this? So we'll do one thing. Since we cannot, because 30 will uh, 30 is greater than 12, which means you're multiplying. But 30 is not a multiple of 12. If you multiply 12 with any number, you will not get 30. So what we're going to do, don't take these two numbers. We're going to take any other number. Like we're going to take the second one and the last one. Because 6 is a mul 6 and 30. 30 is a multiple of 6. I'm, I'm taking 5 by 6 here. So 5 by 6 is equal to blank by 30. See, I have written here equal to sign because they all are equal. They have given equal to sign means all the fractions are equal here. So 5 by 6 is equal to blank by 30. So with 6, what you should do to get 30? 30 is greater than 6, which means you're multiplying. But with what number you're multiplying? With 6, what you should multiply to get 30 here? It is 5, right? Same 5 you multiply in the numerator. So 5 5s are 25. So in the third blank, I'll get 25. So this is how we have to do it. You have to find out the number with what you multiply or should divide. Now we have got all the answers in this blank. Now they are asking, are this equivalent ratio? They are talking about the ratio. We can say yes. See, this all are given in a fractional form, but fraction can be again written back in ratio. If, if you have 5 by 6, when you convert this into ratio, it will become 5 is to 6. Like 5 is to 6. That's it. So we can say yes, they are equivalent ratio because in, this, in the question itself, they have given equal to sign which means they are equal. Okay. 
I hope this question is clear. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.